So our chief scientist, uh, Dr. Jack Kessler, who really is arguably the most renowned iodine chemist on the planet, has been formulating iodine chemistries for 35 plus years. And this technology is the culmination, if you will, of his life's work, um, which has brought about a platform that is far above um, anything that has been done before. Well, simply what we've done is we have isolated and stabilized molecular iodine. And it's important to understand that in iodine chemistry and different iodine formulations, the only active molecule in that formulation is molecular iodine. It's the only thing that kills pathogens. And in the traditional iodine chemistry, greater than 99.9% of the iodine species are there to just stabilize the active because it's so unstable in formulation. And molecular iodine gets absorbed into human skin and then it gets off-gassed. And of course, the molecular iodine is going to kill pathogens on contact, but we can turn the skin safely into a biocidal material for up to 24 hours or more, and it's this off-gassing of the molecular iodine that is, con that is um, creating this persistent barrier to pathogens. So when we talk about um, things like skin prep for surgeries, we can help um, diminish dr greatly the number of uh, surgical site infections. Um, when we talk about diseases of the skin, not only are we putting the product on to treat at that moment, but because that is being um, off-gassed, it is persistently killing the pathogens which are creating that disease state and in pilot studies and in um, anecdotal evidence, we've seen rapid healing of topical diseases. And what is extremely exciting to us is that we have um, created a IP that allows us to not only um, have the skin absorb molecular iodine, but we're able to um, partition molecular iodine into polymers. So imagine a catheter that is biocidal for up to a month. And when you think about all of the types of infections that are um, involved with urinary catheters, uh, peripheral catheters like IVs, um, central lines like PICs. There's a whole host of polymers that are used to um, get into the human body's uh, circular sy circulatory system, digestive system, lot, you know, things like that. But we knew because we were going to load lots of molecular iodine into a formulation or into a polymer that we weren't going to have a problem being effective. But we've also been um, shown uh, three characteristics that we weren't expecting. Um, when the product has been used on wounds, uh, wounds have been healing dramatically faster than previously seen before. So it's having a, a wound healing property. When those wounds heal, there's a large reduction or 
or actual absence of scarring. And then thirdly, um, it's been acting in many instances like uh, a very imp uh, powerful anti-inflammatory, so much so that the anti-inflammatory and wound healing nature um, is part of um, the IP that has been written into our second uh, patent application. And we know that um, growing a company organically uh, would, one, it would require a lot more funds to do, and then also creating a sales environment, creating a sales force, a marketing organization, it would just extend the uh, commercialization of each and every one of these products. And we are looking for not the generally the number one or the number two market leaders, because generally they have very large revenues that they need to protect. We're looking for number three through seven that are looking to capture market. And when they find a innovative, very disruption, disruptive technology, they are willing to bring that across the finish line because they want to capture market share. And our business model allows us to license um, our technology where we are getting a license fee, where we are always going to uh, manufacture the molecular iodine. The IP will always remain with I2 Pure. So when we sell the molecular iodine to a partner, they are blending and bottling very much like a Coca-Cola would deliver their syrup to a bottling company, which would then just add carbonated water to that, to that mixture and then bottle it. And then we would receive a royalty as well. And then in some instances, like with the wound irrigation system, I2Pure is participating in that LLC that's creating um, a, org a entity that we will be, again, selling the uh, molecular iodine to, um, receiving a royalty from, but as that company grows and a potential exit, we will share in the profits of that company as well as the potential exit from that company. So we, we can play on both sides of that, of that equation. 